Hey guys, Adrian Morrison here, and I am so excited to show you this case study. I'm literally going to walk you through exactly how I set up my ad for this very product that made me $152,000 in sales. So this is the product right here on AliExpress, and you can see it's just an iPhone case that has a wine glass on the back of it. If you go to AliExpress and you type in, um, if you type in iPhone case and wine, then a zillion vendors will come up that sell it. Uh, just find the best price and of course a vendor with the best feedback. And uh, you know, then you'll have access to the product. So getting access to the product is easy. It's the marketing of the product that people need to figure out. And I have really, really honed in on this. I've sold over 14,000 units of this little case right here. 14,000 units of this iPhone case. So let's jump over to Facebook ads. Okay, so in Facebook ads, here's what I did. I came over and I hit increase conversions to my website uh, when creating a brand new Facebook campaign. When they give me all of these objectives, I hit increase conversions to my website, hit continue. And then the next step is gonna be to choose all of our targeting and our conversion event. So I have a very seasoned pixel. Uh, if you're just now starting out, then I would say for a conversion event, you would choose view content or add to cart. And then down here, this is the super important part. You have the targeting, okay? I'm gonna walk you through how to target this ad for that phone case and how I sold over 14,000 different units of it. So, of course, I didn't just target U.S., I targeted other countries as well. Uh, the main countries are English-speaking countries that I targeted. So, like, you know, obviously Canada, U.K., New Zealand, and so forth. I went ahead and I, I targeted everybody that was over 25 years old. And I targeted women specifically for this particular item. And then I started searching for the keywords. Now, the keyword list is gonna be right over here, I have it saved. So let me just show you the keyword list. Okay, so I pulled the keyword list out. Let me just go ahead and start typing some stuff in. So red wine, and these are the exact interest I, I've tailored down to, okay? So I would suggest using these. Sparkling wine, okay. Uh, we've got Cabernet, there it is. So you can see these are very, very broad interests. We got winery all right wine tasting okay 19 million people for wine tasting Merlot okay got you uh, Pinot Noir all right and we've got a couple more we've got glass wine that one doesn't show up anymore sometimes Facebook changes their interests uh, we're going for the really, really big interest here. So we'll just do wine glass, okay? And then we'll hit um, wine lovers. Okay, so these are the interests that I hit. Okay, now here is the kicker with this, all right? What we're going to do is we are going to make sure that only people that have an iPhone show up uh, this ad only shows up to people who have an iPhone. Right now we're targeting 8 million people that like these specific keywords, which are obviously good keywords because I use them, but they don't all have iPhones. So we're gonna go ahead and hit narrow audience, all right? And you see how it says, and they must also match at least one of the following, okay? So what we're gonna do is click browse. We're gonna go to behaviors. Okay, very important behaviors. And this is so freaking cool. We're gonna scroll down to where it says mobile devices. And we're gonna hit all mobile devices by brand. And then we're gonna click on Apple, okay? And look, it pulls up all of these devices. So we're gonna hit iPhone 4. Um, we're gonna hit, we don't want iPad 3. Uh, iPhone 4S. We're gonna hit iPhone 5 iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, 6 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus, and that should do it. They, The vendors usually don't carry the case for the 5C. It's usually for the iPhone 4 and above. 
So that brings us down to 4.5 million. And like I was saying, the audience has grown since I um, I started doing this probably by about a million people. You know, every day new people sign up for Facebook and new people like different pages and fall under different interests. And what's great about wine is it's such a broad interest that it's a growing, it is a growing niche. It's a growing passion, right? So it's literally never going to fizzle the wine niche. And here's what we've done. We have some very broad keywords like I teach, okay? And we have uh, targeted them specifically to people that have iPhone phones, right? That way people that have Androids are not seeing an ad for an Apple iPhone case. Does that make sense? So I cut my audience from 8 million to 4.5 million, bullseye targeted, but very broad, very generic uh, passion audience, right? And that is why this converts so, so well. And the only people that are gonna see it are people that like these keywords and also have this mobile device. And that's the secret sauce for this campaign. See, most people don't think or they don't know that you can come over here and hit narrow audience and hit browse and just target iPhones. And when you're targeting an iPhone case, that's completely necessary to utilize these amazing tools that Facebook gives you access to to make sure that you're not wasting money by showing your ad to people that don't have an iPhone. Because why the heck would somebody that doesn't have an iPhone want an iPhone case? Does that make sense? So what we've done is we've got very broad keywords and we're hitting very specific users on Facebook and we've made sure that our targeting is 25 plus years old because you have to comply uh, with the alcohol age limits from country to country and the drinking limit in the United States of America is 21. So just to be safe, I went ahead and said 25 plus year olds and we're targeting women specifically because trust me, I have split tested this campaign a zillion different ways and the women convert way better on this iPhone case. And I'm telling you, it converts like wildfire. Now I wanna disclaim this. I wanna tell you that just because I used these keywords and this, this exact targeting and did $150,000 in sales doesn't mean that's exactly what's going to happen for you, okay? I want to make sure that you understand that everybody's results, you know, can be different. But this gives you a major, major, major edge over anybody and everybody else because you have a campaign that's bullseye targeted that I've already tested and generated an insane amount of sales on and you have the targeting here. And you can market other things to this audience, not just the phone case. Think about all the different wine products that you can start advertising to this specific audience. Now what we need to do is we need to write our ad, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here, we're gonna put our test budget like I teach at $5, because even though this is a campaign that I've tested, I still start everything at $5. And remember, sometimes it takes an ad a couple of days to really kick in, and that's why we let our ads run for three to four days on a test budget. We're gonna hit continue. So in the headline, you're gonna write something like just pay shipping and handling okay so you're going to say it again you want it that to be out there as much as possible and then in the text uh, which is going to go i believe above the ad image you're going to write something like um wine lovers are going crazy over these amazing iphone cases we are doing a free plus shipping promotion. Get yours while they last. All right, now you see up here at the top right, it has rewritten our, I'm sorry, it has put in our description at the top, top right. So I've plugged in the exact ad copy uh, that I want at the top. I plugged in the exact niche. Uh, I have some capital letters to kind of draw attention. And um, I've said that it's a free plus shipping promotion. So I say get yours while they last to add a little bit of urgency. Now down here, when we scroll down, we're gonna add in a couple of other options. So we're gonna put our call to action. And I usually do the call to action to say shop now. And you'll notice over here on the top right, it says shop now. 
and we're gonna have our newsfeed link description. So this right here is what's gonna go beneath. Um, so we're gonna say we are uh, giving away these iPhone cases to anyone that just covers shipping and handling. Get yours now, okay? And then display link, we're just gonna put whatever your Shopify store is, so you would put in you know, your shopifystore.com, whatever that may be. And you'll see here, we've got a really nice ad and we say just pay shipping all over the place here. And this is how I would write this ad. Now, uh, what you need to do though is remove Instagram, remove the audience network and remove right column. And you're just gonna run this on desktop newsfeed and mobile newsfeed. And as a matter of fact, if I were you, just after all the testing I've done, I would remove desktop and I would just run this on the mobile news feed because think about it, you're hitting people that are iPhone users and you're hitting them while they're on their iPhone. Does that make sense? So this is how I would write this ad right here. And you're saying just pay shipping and handling in your ad so people understand that you know it's a promotion where you just pay shipping. Uh, there are other ad copies that I've used. I've split tested many. Uh, sometimes I, I might say get this free just pay shipping and handling and I put free in the ad text and I say just pay shipping and handling uh, and then you put your you know obviously niche in there so wine lovers get this free just pay shipping and handling there's a lot of ways to write the ads and I've split tested the ad various different ways uh, I think that right here is a nice solid way to write your ad um, you've got the targeting that I use. You've got the exact product that I use. This is literally what I would do, uh, resubmit if I were to just start out again running this campaign. So everything is here that you need to really get started with this case study, duplicate it. And I must say, I am going to disclaim here uh, that it's not guaranteed to work. It's not guaranteed to profit. Um, it, this is a case study. I have generated $152,000 with this. I've split tested the heck out of it. I've given you the keywords that I've tailored. I've trimmed all the fat. And you know the ad itself, uh, this is ad copy that I would write in the ad starting out. This is uh, a mobile targeted ad, so I think it's gonna convert better. I definitely notice higher conversions on mobile phones opposed to desktops. So, I mean, I think you have everything here that I can honestly think of to make sure that you have the best chance possible to promote this product and, you know, get the best results. So that's it for this $152,000 case study. I've sold over 14,000 units of this foam. I've given you uh, I've given you the keywords. I've given you the behaviors I intersect with the Apple iPhone. I've shown you where to find it on AliExpress. I've shown you an example ad copy that I would recommend writing. And you have everything that you need in this fast action bonus. Guys, this puts you so much further ahead of everybody else. This gives you direction. Direction of somewhere to start that gives you better odds than trying to do it yourself and trying to figure out something yourself. And remember, don't just use this audience to promote the iPhone case. You have a passion audience of four plus million people that are interested in wine. There's a zillion other things that you could be marketing to this audience, okay? So I've given you everything that I promised here and uh, I hope you guys absolutely crush it. I hope you love this case study and I know that so many of you are appreciative of the transparency of me sharing the exact product and the exact targeting that I use and then even coming in here and helping you write an ad uh, that I believe is a really good ad. And of course, split test this ad copy, okay? You know, write other things in the ad. Uh, you know, you, you want to keep it fresh. You want to you want to always be testing, okay? There's never one way that's like the exact best way for an ad uh, to be written. Test, the, you know, little things in the ad copy. What's important is the targeting. Up here, you can have some fun, put some different things, and you may find something that converts, you know, much better each time you split test, right? Okay, that's it. Crush it. Hope you guys enjoyed.